How much can you transform your body in just 90 days? That's what I want to find out with this next challenge. I've actually been training at gym and trying to eat healthy for a long time in my life. And I've had some good results, but I often plateau or lose my progress and just can't really seem to get the results that I wanted. What if I do 90 days where I take it really seriously? What results could anyone get if they really focused in for 90 days? So I'm gonna be tracking my results day to day, showing progress. I'm gonna be showing you guys my food that I get set from one of the best personal trainers in Australia. Let's see how much someone can actually improve in just 90 days. So let's get into it and see how the body transformation goes. So my true trainers for the months are Reese Adams and Mark Tobre from Enterprise Fitness. And they're known as some of the best trainers in Australia. They've trained champion bodybuilders, they've trained professional athletes, and even a gold medalist. So they really know what they're talking about when it comes to nutrition, fitness, body composition, supplements, everything fitness related. So in our first week, we did all these measurements to see where I was starting at. And it turns out I was 19.9% body fat, I was 85 kilos, and my lean mass was 68 kilos. That was my starting metrics, and I wanted to see how much I can improve, how much body fat can I lose, and how much muscle can I gain. And the first week was really tough because my body really wasn't functioning that well. I had very poor range of motion, my flexibility wasn't so good, and my strength in a lot of areas was very weak because I'd been training incorrectly previously, and I'd been working some muscles, but not the other muscles that need to balance those out. And that was definitely gonna be a priority for the program to get my body functioning well together so I can actually start lifting heavier and actually put on more muscle and, and lose the weight faster. I've just finished day one. It was pretty hard and I can definitely feel my body needs to work a lot to like move right. So it's gonna be a tough 90 days ahead of me, but excited to see where I can get to. My diet, this entire journey was a really important part to actually get the results that I wanted to get and one of the biggest changes that I made. I'm vegetarian, so we had to think of clever ways to increase my protein intake without eating meat. We also had to make sure that the carbs that I had were at the right time and make sure that I was utilizing them at the right time. And we also did carb cycling, which means I'd have periods of lower carbs and then for a couple of days, I'd go really high carbs, I'd get to eat heaps of rice and heaps of cereal and stuff like that just for two days and then drop it out again. Now that I'm in week two and I've had a good result for week one, I'm allowed to eat carbs in the morning, which is really exciting for me. So this is my carb meal that I've just made, if you can see it. It's basically just black rice, coconut oil, cinnamon and spinach, but it tastes amazing. I'm pretty happy with the, the meals that I'm having, even though they sound really simple, they're actually really tasty. Overall, I found the eating to actually be really enjoyable, but it was all about just making sure you were planned out and making sure I was eating my veggies, my eggs, my pea protein, my coconut oil, avocado. And then of course, on top of that, I had a lot of supplements which range from zinc, vitamin A, vitamin B, multivitamin, and all these other different supplements that made sure my body was in top shape and ready to function at the gym. And the winner of the 2018 W4 Insurance Small Business Award goes to Next world, That's a huge surprise. Like the other finalists were really impressive. So today I have been going to a gala ball. So that's why you can see I'm in a suit, looking all fancy. But unfortunately, I can't eat any of the food here. So I prepared a little rice and hard-boiled eggs meal and my protein shake, of course. So that's what I'll be eating tonight. While everyone's eating their mains, gotta keep the gains coming, gotta eat right. So after six weeks of training, it was really exciting to see some of the results that I'd already achieved. So I'd already increased my body mass, or lean mass by over four kilos, and my body fat percentage was down 6.5%. And I started to see some changes in my body. I definitely felt a little bit leaner. I definitely felt just more balanced in my body and just kind of more comfortable, like less gaps if I was just moving around the office and doing things. And it was really exciting to see some of that progress. A lot of my workouts were actually pretty simple. It was just the basic movements, but making sure you were doing them right. 
you know, before this, I thought there would be more complexity and more interesting movements and, you know, leveraging, you know, exercise balls and balancing on this and cables and stuff like that. But a lot of the stuff we used was relatively simple stuff that I'd done before. It was just about doing it in the right way. And so it doesn't need to be super complicated when you're building out, you know, your workout routine. It's just about nailing the basics. So I just finished my day 70 or so workout and it was a leg day. So we were doing things like these kind of hip thrusts where I hit my personal best by an extra 20 kilos. We're doing lunges, which are absolutely brutal. We were doing um, this reverse hyper, which is all about like stretching your back and kind of doing the opposite movement to other movements to kind of make you feel good. It was intense as always, but I'm happy to have got it through and excited to kind of finish off these last couple of weeks and um, keep smashing the fitness. So that brings me to the end of the challenge. And I'm pretty excited to say my body fat went down over 9%, down to 10.3%. And my lean muscle mass went up over six kilos to over 74 kilos of lean muscle. So when I look at my before and afters, I can see some pretty big changes. I can see my arms are bigger. I, I know my like arms are probably as big as I've ever been. I feel like my back and that shape on my back has really come through, which I'm excited about. My abs are showing. And I think I'm in the best shape I've been in in my life. I'm excited to continue to take fitness seriously, see where I can take it in the future. And that brings me to next month's challenge, where next month I'm gonna learn how to try to speak Spanish in just one month. So it should be a really tough and interesting challenge and definitely one to watch. So if you wanna check that out, definitely hit the subscribe button to stay up to date. And as always, thank you so much for watching and happy learning.